Welcome back YouTube, the games got bored. This is your host Josh. Um been away for a while, but I'm gonna get back into the groove of things and I'm gonna start doing my videos like Dice Tower, where they do the whole tell you what the game is, kind of like a little run through, show you how to play the game, and then what they think. So I'm kinda of doing that, but I'm gonna do it like a bunch of games that like only the games I have really and whatever I get. And we're gonna start first off with Panic Station. Panic Station plays four to six. It's by Stronghold Games, as you can see right there. And basically, I think they try to do the whole aliens theme, where you guys are on this like in space, and there's like this parasite thing going around that will affect people. It's like it's a, it's a social deduction game, where you're trying to figure out who's infected. Try not to get infected yourself, but then try also try to stop the infection from spreading. And you're trying to find a hive, destroy the hive, and then once you do that, you the humans win. If you're infected, your goal is try to infect all the other players so they lose and try to keep them from doing their mission. So this is basically the theme of this game. Um, let's see how it plays and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so I have this game set up for five players. Um, camera stand broke, so I kind of got to hold the camera. But uh, yeah, the game takes place in two phases. It's basically a little card exploring game. The game takes place in two phases. You got the parasite phase and then the team phase. How the parasite phase works. Um, you're going to move any parasites that are on the board. So let's say we have a few places down. I'll explain why I didn't play that one later. So let's say we have something like this. We have some parasites on the board. All right, so say we have like that parasite phase, the, per the f first player basically is going to roll this die. So I'm guessing three. I'm guessing it's the number on the bottom. Three. So basically that means all the parasites are going to move down. So this guy will move there. He can't move because it's a wall. He can't move because it's a wall. So that's the parasite phase. If somebody was in there, so say he was in there, he would get attacked. If, he's, if the gray one's in there, he gets attacked for one. If the black one's in there, he gets attacked for two. And then there's a marker that well, didn't come in the game, but it'll get passed over to the next person. So then the parasite phase will happen after everybody goes and then gets back to him. So he had the, he did the parasite phase. This we just made it this the marker. This will go to him. Then he will take his turn. He will take his turn. He will take his turn. Then him. Then him. Then him again. And then he will do the parasite phase before he takes his turn. Pass this over. Then he takes a turn and so on and so forth. And that's how the parasite phase works. Okay. Next you have the team phase, which is where all the players will move and do their actions. So each person has a card. This tells you your life, how many action points you get, and so on. Their thing only. Everybody has two cards. Uh, these guys, the androids, cannot destroy the hive. Only the human people can, but they can't attack monsters unless they have a knife. But they can. So. That is how that works. And every time you take a wound, you just rotate your card like so. Once you get down to two and one life, you only get one action. So basically, on your turn, you have everybody's going to start off with four actions. So you can move. So say he 
right here. He can move right there. That's one action. He can explore, which he'll draw another card to put down. And placing cards is a little weird. You cannot, it has to be vertical, so it has to be up and down. So I can't rotate it like this or anything like that, so I can put that there. And the doors have to match. So that's to explore. He can search. So anything with the black uh, black marker on there, he can he'll flip it over to show it's searched, and then he'll draw an item card. So it's like this, put it in his hand. Another thing you do is you can activate that ability. For each, you get different abilities for each room. Uh, this lets if two people are on there, only one person needs to activate it to search, and they both get to draw cards. Uh, let's see, you have that one, unless you basically get an extra move action. So each one has a different action, that one lets you heal too. So each one of these rooms has different actions you can do. Uh, another thing you can do is basically call for a uh, an infection test or a heat check and that's when you're going to use this board so basically everybody has two cards and they look like this if you're infected you got to play the red card if you're not you play that card so this person is not infected so he'll play this card over here on the green that one over there everybody will do that that over there that over there There, 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 there. First player will pick up the cards, shuffle them, and then reveal. Oh, we have three infected people. These cards really don't matter. You don't need to really see those, but you got to shuffle them. Otherwise, you'll know who's infected and who's not. All you know now is there's three people infected. So you can do that uh, if you ever. So when you these are the item cards. So you need three of these gas cards to find when you find the hive to destroy it. Uh, key cards open up like the doors and everything. Uh, gas, gas. Everybody has. Now when you move into a spot, so let's say this guy moved in there. You either got to trade with that dude, the other player, or you have to attack them. I don't know how to attack. I'll, I'll explain that in my review. But if you trade, you basically, everybody has a hand. Of, it's going to have a hand of five cards. If These are infected cards. If you're infected, you can give these to the other player to try to infect them. Or you can just trade like other stuff that you have so let's say uh, let's say purple's infected so he puts that face down in front of him let's say white is not infected but he plays that so you guys play the cards face down you hand them each other he looks at his card mm, got a grenade the white player looks at his card he is now infected he keeps that card and now he's helping you try to get affected. Now if purple played that card and white played that card that canceled out the infection, nobody's infected, but now he knows that you are infected. Because if you're not infected, you can't give one of your infection cards. And you can't, each one has a color code, so you can't give away someone else's. Uh, you're going to keep exploring until you find this tile right here. Once a person's in there and spends three gas cards, the humans win the game. If not, then the infected wins the game. And that is basically the game of Panic Station. One thing I did forget to talk about is attacking in this game with the android. So basically android can shoot. He can shoot one space away. He can't shoot through doors. So 
if he's gonna get the let's just say this is the android or here we go. Let's say the android is gonna shoot at that, then he will it starts off at four, then you'll rotate it three, uh, then the gray takes one, black takes two. So since it's a gray, he's dead. If it was a black, he would drop this down to two. And then the the black would die. When it's red, you can still search tiles that are red, but if you do, you have to spawn one of these aliens and you do it the same way. You So let's say purple, search that, drew a card. He's gonna roll that, one, so a, a alien would spawn uh, right here if there was a space there. So you follow the one. If there's no space here, he doesn't spawn. Uh, and that's any time the space is red. Even if I did the ability in there, I could do it again, but I gotta spawn an alien. So that's how aliens get on the board. I forgot to mention those two things, so, but now let's talk about what I think of this game. This game sucks. Okay. Let me talk about some of the good things. Um, uh, the box, the art is pretty good. Like the cover, the, this tin can thing is pretty neat looking. The back, they actually show the game. It looks sweet. Um, uh, that's. I guess no. This <laughs> is about the only good thing that I like about this game. Uh, let's go through everything I hate. First off, these are stickers. Stickers. You had to put all these stickers on this game. And there's a lot of stickers. That's a lot of stickers I had to put on it. And like, if you look right here, I messed up on that one. And it's forever ruined because it's stickers. Second, how, why, why would you not make enough gray pieces? We have one, two, three, four, five. Why would you give me five gray tokens tokens for these monsters but give me six eight stickers what are you doing nine stickers <laughs> you gave me five tokens but nine stickers who who did the math here that's that's so you have to put them on the back of these black ones which is stupid don't like that I know I kind of get it uh, if you shoot if you can only do one damage to the black one they take two you flip it over now it takes one I guess I can easily just oh he's almost dead replace it with another token it's not that hard but another big thing this game plays six players six players we got red we have purple, too. So you got red, purple. Well, you got blue, green, white, orange. Do you see what's wrong with this? No, I didn't lose the piece. I still got the sticker right here. So, I never got the piece. This game came with a missing piece. How do you give me a game with a missing piece? So, I never played this with six players. I played it with five. Played it with four. Never six, because I can't play with six. So, technically, this box should say four to five players. You can't even play it with less than four. That's another bad thing. 
Um, the other bad thing about I didn't like, like about this game is the gameplay, the setup. Okay, you set up, you take, you're gonna take a, like nine gas cans, n number of players, or five number of players, one gas can for each player, okay. Then, so you do that, then you take out one of these, and in a five player game, you take out double the number, so in a five player game, ten, minus one, because that of random cards are you serious random cards so you can actually go do they know that he's really the only person that could kill monsters this android guy if you can actually go a whole game without even having the bullets because you cannot shoot your gun without this so basically, if you don't have this card, if this card is not in the game, you're screwed. You can't kill the monsters. You can't kill the aliens. This is... How is that, like... That's stupid. So, he's just walking around waving his gun. Like, oh, I got a gun. Oh, I got a gun. Can't do anything. Don't have no ammo. And... In, the, in this... Uh, where is it? This can open doors. The only thing that can open doors. If this is not in the game, you can't go in some of the rooms. <sighs> Who thought of this? This is so stupid. <sighs> and another thing, placing the tiles. So, when you're placing these tiles, these cards, you have to place it like this. See, like, I never, look right there. There's a door on this one. So basically, if you don't ever get the key card, guess what? You could never go in that room. But you have to place them vertical. Like, you cannot place them like this. So that makes it hard. And if you, if on your turn you're exploring, but you draw a tile and you can't, or you draw a card and you place it down and can't play it, you just, oh, okay. Next. Oh, can't play this. Next. Oh, can't play this. Next. Oh, can't play this. It's like, and then the, the rule book sucks. The rule book doesn't explain anything. Where, where's that rule book at? I don't know where the rule book is. By far the worst rule book ever. I've never made a game, I've never been a designer. But the one thing I would do in a rule book is put a picture uh, of the game setup before you start to play. Just like a picture of the game setup. Why would you not do that in the first place? So if I'm setting up the game, yeah, it tells me, but it doesn't, like it, where is the rule book? Found the rule book. So, this is the first page. It tells you how to set it up right there. Another thing it doesn't do, and it references throughout this book, is oh, play these cards, play these cards. Which cards are those? Show me a picture. Like, yeah, this is the host card. Like, you won't know that unless you keep going to the back, the beginning of the book, and even. Even this doesn't show you what's oh no that, that, that show you right there. But then it also says like each person get a positive negative. Okay. So each person gets where's those cards at? So many cards. Well, they get a positive and negative. It's the blue and red, or one blue, one red, symboled, and I guess the red. So the reds are positive, blue is negative, and you don't know that unless you look up here. 
and it doesn't even tell it doesn't even show you which ones it just tells you like right there this rule book is horrible and then it tells you that you have when you go to the same spot as another person you either attack or trade if you don't have any actions to attack and you have to trade but the thing is it doesn't tell you how to attack a person what do you do to attack a person is it like attacking a parasite do you just i'm shooting you i go down four so you lose four health like do you, do you roll die do you guys do it doesn't tell you how to attack and i'm looking at it right now it tells you how to trade. It tells you all about the trading. Nothing on to attack. So how do you attack another person? If I want to do it, I can't because I don't know how. Ah, this game was... It was dead on arrival for me. Once I, once I saw those stickers, I was like, this game is already going down. Down in my book a little bit. But then I... I missing a piece. I, I take really good care of my games. I do not like missing pieces. And especially when it's not my fault. When I bought the game. So technically, I I think I paid like 40 bucks for this. I waste like well, I waste the money for the game itself. But then I didn't get my money's worth because I can only play Four to five people. I couldn't play six because of that. And that's a no no. Um, so yeah, that is what I think of the game. I do not like it. I do not recommend it. I played it twice, I think. Could try to give it a chance because it sounds so cool. It sounds really awesome, like, oh, it's a card game, social deduction, aliens, you're going to affect people. It's like, oh, that's really neat. You read the back of it, it sounds so cool. And then you play it, it's like, well, this game is stupid. Just stupid. So, that was Panic Station. See you guys on my next video.